Howdy, Michael J. Brown here. I just wanted to do a quick little review on the uh, Fender Pugilist Distortion Pedal. Picked this up, oh, probably a month ago or so. And um, I've been pretty happy with it. My problem is, is uh, I play, you know, kind of a more country folk style guitar. And a lot of the distortion pedals that I would find uh, were just too over the top. There wasn't a setting in them that I couldn't find that wouldn't either be too distorted or it would jack the volume up too high for the type of music I was playing. So I watched a lot of the demos on the uh, Fender Pugilist and I, it looked like something that would be, would work for my situation. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's about $116, I believe. And um, so I, I got that and I gave it a try. And this is what I found. So this is kind of playing just a pretty clean, open, open style. Pretty clean to start with there. And then I've got it all set at 12 o'clock on all the dials. It's got two different distortion channels in it, which is kind of nice. You can dial one in a little bit milder and the second one in a little bit hotter to where you get a little bit more distortion. And then you can use, um, it's got a little blend or series pedal and you can use the blend and then turn it all the way to the A side or the B side, depending on what you're after. This right here is set to blend and it's right in the middle, again on 12 o'clock. And this is what it sounds like. Because what I was looking for was something that would not jack the volume up too high to play appropriately in the song I was playing. So here's my volume level for this. Now when I hit the distortion pedal... a little hot there but the beauty of this one is is it has a level that you can set after everything's gone out and I can just turn that down a little bit. that's pretty close adds the distortion but it doesn't get too overly loud volumes are pretty close and then, if I want to, um, on blend, I can go clear to the A side. Or I can go clear to the B side. a bit hotter and that's the way it's set up to be the a side gives you a little bit more mellow sounds or you can run this thing actually in series where it'll go through the a side and then the b side so if i pop that up to there one of the things i really like about this particular distortion pedal is that it doesn't make everything so distorted that you can't distinct uh, have a good distinction of the notes. It's not so fuzzy that you can't hear the tonal quality. sorts of different different tones by playing around with the level it's got a tone a tone b gain a gain b so if i turn the the a side down and i've got it in series you can tell it brought that down quite a bit and then if i do the same to the b side it'll bring it down even more and then i can jack the level back up dial this into the amount of distortion that I want based on those two channels. If I want a lot of distortion, then I just crank these up. 
crank the tone, crank the tone up on the B side. <laughs> pedal to be very good for being able to get a good distinct clean a cleaner distortion which is what I was after I didn't want something that would blow it out of the water so hot that you, I couldn't still play the style of music that I wanted so if you're looking for a good clean distortion and you can you can again it's high, I wouldn't recommend this for heavy metal and those sort of things you know you can crank this way up let me go back to the blend and put it all the way to the B side clean distortion so that's what I like about it so for that's this particular style of music I definitely give it a thumbs up and if you're looking for something that just totally ratifies the whole sound then this is probably not the pedal for you but if you're looking for a good clean distortion that you can control quite a bit then I highly recommend the Fender Pugilist um, distortion pedal thanks have a great I did have one final comment on the Fender Pugilist pedal and that's the fact that it does not come with it does not come with the 9 volt power supply, which I purchased separately on Amazon for about oh, eight, eight ninety five, I think. Pretty good little 9 volt power supply, pretty good price, but I personally couldn't understand why they just didn't include one with it. I don't like to purchase, you know, power supplies and devices separately. It does have this little compartment here that's real easy to get to for a 9 volt battery. But we all know how fast 9 volt batteries tend to go. So anyway, you do have to buy the power supply separately. Thanks.